It is the mysterious hidden weapon type that served as mostly as a uh, post-game secret reward than an actual boss type. It, it is WEA-02 Imagine Kaiser with a kit of Wide Break, Hyper Missile, Laser, Multi-Legs, and the leg ability of Bullet Rain, which buffs the success and power of equipped shooting parts on his build if the number equipped exceeds that of the targets. Now it is honestly very very nice to see Imagine Kaiser make his grand return and official debut into the mainstream titles, but also no less getting his very first official 3D model, because prior to this all he was nothing more than just a sprite um, of, of scattered parts across the cluster complex and Navi, and unless you actually knew where to look, he, you could basically play all of Navi without ever once seeing him. So like I said, it is very nice to see him officially, but Imagine Kaiser is indeed br bringing back a brand new skill to the game that will definitely change up how a lot of gravity attribute attacks work, but not necessarily to the point that it's game changing. Wide Break, as mentioned, is a new skill that is a gravity attribute, meaning it's fantastic for heavy punish of anyone that is using two or more heavy parts, but three indeed is the recommended. However, what sets Wide Break apart from Standard Break or even Break Hammer is the fact it is an AoE, meaning instead of damaging one part and having pierce damage upon a punish, you'll simply be dealing more damage as an AoE. In this sense, think of it more like Hammer to Power Hammer in this case, where that extra damage modifier on Power Hammer makes using the AoE much more viable um, and, and, more, and makes each hit last much better and have a better, a more lasting effect on the field upon use. Hyper Missile is a ground, is a gunpowder attribute attack, much like Missile, but instead of it being an AoE, it is instead a pierce damage dealing move. So much like God Emperor's mess, Missile attack in this case, who also is Hyper Missile. Yet, also like God Emperor, Imagine Kaiser also wields standard laser. So he, so he gets another optic attribute attack, that has a times 1.5 damage bonus at 30% charge and a times 2 damage bonus at 100% charge. So right off the bat, even just looking at his stats across the board, Imagine Kaiser is quite literally a walking bastion. Um, he has a fantastically high amount of HP, nearly 4000 HP for that head, about 4250 for the legs. His arms are just a little squishy. Um, not enough to really to render him or give him the title of a glass cannon, but quite possibly something you might want to keep an eye on um, if you do plan to make use of Imagine Kaiser either as a pure set or as mixed parts. But even then, he still has some fantastic ratings across the board. Um, high, uh, gravity Attribute, the Wide Break, has a success stat of 1263, which at base already is amazing. And also means that he gets this the bonus to success upon Metaphor's threshold, which means that success will go even higher. Which means I highly doubt Imagine Kaiser will have a will have any issues dealing critical hits, even when even when just using the attack normally. And with a base damage of 1235, that's even for an AoE, that's still pretty good. Um, pretty decent heat cool stats, about the mid 600s, which is still pretty good. Six head charges also is decent. It also is the only heavy part on him, which honestly makes something else on Imagine Kaiser stand out compared to most other weapon types. And it's the fact that Imagine Kaiser. Does, is not weighed down by the heavy punish uh, drawback as any of his predecessors or future models. So as you see here, his head is his only heavy part, meaning that even gravity attribute attacks will not be a weakness to him as they may be to say God Emperor or Beastmaster or Parallel Deuce. Hyper Missile also is always pretty good to have as your pierce damage move, especially as a gunpowder move no less, since those usually always are guaranteed to hit once you cap them out at five at five star. Base damage is 1620 is also really good. Success really doesn't count, really doesn't matter all that much once you cap it at five star because the hit is guaranteed to land. But that still, that but that very high success at 1100 still means that it's going to have a very good chance of landing critical hits when the hit does indeed hit the tar land on the target. And with laser, very high success rate as well. High 800s, low 700s for heat and cool. Base damage of nearly 1500 honestly is impressive even before modifiers. Success may be just a little bit low on him, but honestly still something that can be very easily overcome. It's honestly his legs though that really do stand out. At a, high, at a base mobility of 889, that puts him on the same tier essentially as Gokudo when it comes to his base speed. So uh, whenever you aren't able to use biped legs, this right here is your next, is your next best bet. 
Evade stat and his melee resists are a little bit low though, so he probably may not be dodging a lot. Um, and against melee opponents, he will be struggling just a little bit. But essentially, as a walking bastion and fortress, um, any incoming shooting attacks, Imagine Kaiser should be able to handle his own pretty well. And with a heavy support of two, he can also hold a pretty heavy, pretty nice amount of weight before it starts holding him back too. Was a pure set score, I would honestly have to rate Imagine Kaiser a very solid 8.5 out of 10 across the board. Very good stats, very good base power, very solid heat and cool, and amazing speed on those legs. Even at the cost of having the lower evade and meatly resist, that speed is definitely nothing to sneeze at. And if you were to consider using them as mixed parts, very solidly a 9 out of 10. I'd even argue even maybe a 10 out of 10 and someone and one that I would actually count as a must have in some cases because Imagine Kaiser packs all the power of any kind of other weapon type such as Beastmaster or God Emperor but he's also packing it in a way that is not going to draw him back such as say the heavy limit of, of having to accommodate that with legs or being punished from the heavy punish from anyone wielding a gravity based attribute attack.